Hey guys, today we have a Canon PIXMA MX722 printer. I just want to go over some of the paper pickup issues that it may have. Um, that's probably why you're watching this video. Um, this goes same for MX700 series, MX900 series, which is 922 here in the States. Um, so you're trying to print the uh, print something and your, print, uh, your computer is telling you that there's no paper in the printer and it asks you to load the paper and also same goes when you're trying to make a copy um, and you look in there there's paper loaded into the printer but still you get an error saying that there's no paper so first thing you want you want to make sure is that there is correct settings when you're trying to scan or copy or make a print for example if you're trying to copy you're going to go to the copy settings and then you're going to select print settings here um, and if your page size is for example a photo paper or something like 5 by 8 or 5 by 7 or 4 by 6 it's not going to pick up from the main tray it's going to pick it up from the photo tray a photo tray is this one right here and uh, if you're not printing photos you're probably not using that one not loading any paper in there so make sure your settings are proper over here and then for plain paper you're going to select make sure you have the um, plain paper here so that's something that you should check into first but then if you're if that's all proper and you've had paper you haven't had any settings changed then most likely you just need to clean the rollers and to do that um, we're going to turn the printer off then when the printer is off, we're going to put it on its side, just like that, before um, putting it on its side, it's probably smart to just pull the paper tray out, and then we have access to the pickup roller right here. So I'll just use some window cleaner, I just have Windex in here, and I'm going to spray it on, the, um, on some paper towel. Make sure you don't spray any into the printer here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll just put the wet portion of the napkin over the roller and just clean it that way. So I'm just spinning this wheel while I'm cleaning the upper one, or in this case, it's upper. It's really right and left when the printer is in the proper position. So just make a few spins here and you'll see some dust accumulating here or dirt um, um, this printer does not have that problem i'm just using it to demonstrate so go ahead and do the same thing spin the upper roller while you hold the paper towel over the other one and this is for the main pickup roller so after you're done with that also i also i use the alcohol swab sometimes for that works well and it doesn't break away um, if you have one of those and you don't want to use alcohol, just wring it out and uh, let it dry and just use paper towel. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, use some window cleaner on it. Sometimes just warm water works as well. Um, I'll show you the other roller. This is the roller that's for the photo. If you're having problems with your photos not being photo paper not being picked up through the printer, this is the, the one that you need to clean. And then another thing that you, uh, another spot that you want to check when you have paper pickup issues is over here in the back. It just slides out. Um, make sure there's no paper jams in here, and uh, that looks pretty good actually. This also comes out, and you can see inside here. Get access. Um, that's usually when you have paper jams, not paper pickups. So I'm just going to put that back. This just slides in like this here. And this goes like that. So when you're done cleaning the uh, paper rollers, make sure this is set to proper size of the paper. In my case, it's the letter. Um, and put the paper back in and you should be good to go so just look over that 
and um, when we try to when you try to print you shouldn't have a problem with paper not being picked up from the printer so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel share it and also comment in the section below i'll be able to look at your comments and hopefully answer some of the questions you have about your printer have a wonderful day